Watch it. Oh, charge control. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something that you've all been waiting for, full tuning with the 2019 Ram Rebel. It's happening today. I'm so excited. It's happening today. But before we do that, let's give you a build update on the Ram Rebel. So far, what we have done to the Ram Rebel is not much. It's not much, but the awesome extreme sound Corsa exhaust system we got back here with the black ceramic tips and we do have a discount code for our subscribers. It's on our partners page of our website. We got an SMB cold air intake and we have a Mishimoto catch can. So like I said, guys, not much. Oh, an edge monitor. But today we're doing full tuning. It's important because, well, we have some big, big plans for the Rebel coming very, very soon. Wife is kind of, she's pumped. She's pumped. I'm very excited. Being, and for anybody out there who's white, It's a need. It's a need. It sounds so oh, good. Oh, it sounds so good. We'll be getting it from Gaston very soon, too. Man, we had to bring Gaston out of hi hibernation because, well, it's been sitting in the garage for like two months, sounding really good over there, looking really good thanks to attention to detail PA. More stuff coming with that car later in the spring, but hopefully exhaust before the spring because it, it needs it. It needs it really bad. Like I said, we got big plans and it might have to do with. Not gonna tell you guys, you just gotta keep watching. When you get your kit from Diablo Sport, when you're doing the full tuning with PCM swap, this is what it's gonna come with. Here's your unlocked PCM, okay? This is your, you can do different options with this, but we got the Trinity 2, the T2 display, and everything that you need will be inside this box. There's different types of security bypasses, and we're gonna get into that. This is gonna be a full tutorial, similar like we did with Gaston, but the security bypass is different with the 2019 Ram Rebels, or Ram 1500 trucks. Doesn't necessarily have to be a Ram Rebel. So the process is, I'll walk you through it really, really quick. So we already have the Update Agent 1.0 installed. It's always important that you install the most latest software whenever you're installing any type of tuning and starting fresh because the company's always updating things, changing things as things change. If there's bugs, they fix it and what have you. So I just opened this. It already ran an update for this software already. It's update agent 1.0. And when we plug this in, there's gonna be updates for this as well. So we're gonna update this, and then we're gonna install the security bypass cable. And Heather, my lovely assistant, Woo! since this is her daily, is gonna be helping us. I got you. Yeah, she did really well with the charger outside when we did full tuning with the charger, so. Yep, <laughs> she's got small little hands that can fit in places that these hands can. Move the PCM off to the side for now because we're not, we're not doing anything with that yet. Here's your awesome installation booklet. And what I do, I do this whenever I'm doing a PCM swap with the Alvo Sport. There's a nice little spot right here. I'll take this. So I know this is the unlocked PCM and there's no way of mixing it up. I put it right there. That's so smart. Yeah. Your instruction booklet. Oh, they actually sent two. Look at that. And in here, we'll actually tell you what type of bypass. There's instructions for all the types of bypass. There's a type A, type B, and type C. When we did the charger, it was type B, which is, I think, the easiest, but I think this one's gonna be type C. So you got your nice T2 Trinity monitor. Check it out. Ooh. I had a T1 in my 2015 Ram 2500. It's come a long way. Smaller, more sleek. This is your cable that's gonna plug into your OBD2 port, which is gonna plug into your, your monitor here. Mm. And we're running an edge monitor. I love the edge monitor because I'm so used to having one with my diesel. We'll probably continue to run that, but for purposes of today, we'll connect this one and we'll load the tunes because you need to use this to load your tuning and your update cable, and here's your security bypass. This is similar to the Jeep. This is the type C security bypass. Really cool. It's like you unplug one thing and plug it in there, but we'll get into that. Are we gonna get into that? We're gonna get into that. First things first. I'm the realist. I'm the realist. We are gonna update our T2. 
And right here on the bottom, you can see there's your data port. Plug that in there. And this just plugs right into your PC via USB port. And what it will do is it will notice it, it will connect, it will load whatever drivers it needs to, and then it will automatically update this. So you're setting up device. There it goes. It says updates are available. Do you want to install them now? Yes, we want to install them because we always want the most current updates. That's why it's important to do this first. Someone here? Go towards the light, Carol Ann. What is that? That's called wind, Heather. It's writing updates to the device. That's it's Gabe. Why didn't he come in? Gabe, why did you come in? You probably saw Kylie and was like, oh, hell to the no. Hell to the no, no, no. <laughs> So it's still, if you read this, if you go to the screen here, it's saying follow instructions on the display. As you can see, the installer group is installing the update to the actual device. This process takes a little bit, but just follow the directions. Be patient. It's the right thing to do, guys. One thing to note, and I get this questioned all the time, will this void my factory warranty? The answer is possibly. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's, that's straight up. I mean, right there, I'll tell you. Even if you put your stock PCM back in your vehicle, there's still going to be an indicator on the BCM. So if the dealership's going to look for it, they're going to be able to determine that something, something's amiss, something's not right. The PCM has been tampered with. Mm -hmm. So they'll, they'll be able to tell if they really want to look for it, and then they might not warranty your vehicle. So just keep that in mind. I don't care. <laughs> So all the updates have been installed. It says follow the directions on the device. We're going to hit continue. Okay, it looks like it's got some more updates to do. Check back soon. <laughs> <laughs> and everything's up to date. So we're just going to hit yes. We are set to go. So we're going to shut down our PC. Everything's been updated. Now we can install our type C security bypass. So now we're installing the security bypass with Hetty. And the first step that we're adding, we're gonna remove this kick panel here. There are two seven millimeter bolts at the bottom of that kick panel. Eddie's gonna remove them now. Okay, now she's gonna remove the other side. Just simply pull on this corner. There's some clips in there, just gonna disengage it. I'm going to do my very best in showing you where this gateway module is. It's super, super easy. It's just, um, it's a little difficult to show with the camera. So I'm gonna show with the camera first and then I'm gonna take it out. Find this metal bar, this L-shaped thing. And then you see these little wires right there where my finger's pointing. Here are the two plugs that I'm going to be removing. They both have a locking tab on there, so I'm gonna to have to press them in and then release them. Gently pulling them out after I get the locking tab out. They are both removed. I'm so sorry for the lighting, you guys. It's just really bad angles in here. You guys are like truck people. You don't understand that. It's all about that mod life. All right, these are out. Next up. Now with the two plugs out of the gateway module, we can install the security bypass. As you can see here, they're different sizes, so they can only go in one way. So basically, you're just going to plug those two plugs right into this PowerTech security module, and then your security bypass is installed. Do you think removing the kick panel made it easier? Definitely. I, I think that probably somebody maybe that knows what they're looking for and what they are feeling might be able to do it without doing it, but I think the average person, I like to think I'm a little above average, um, definitely take that kick panel off. It will make your life a whole lot easier. One side's bigger than the other, so I can already, you know, see the difference there. Okay. It's in there, yeah. Very good. Now the security bypass is officially installed, and we're ready to pull the stock tune file <laughs> from the stock PCM. That's something you have to do first before you put your other PCM, the unlock PCM in the truck. It needs the stock tune file. Before we do that though, we're gonna take these zip ties that came included and we're going to go ahead and make it nice and neat like up there. 
So here we go. <laughs> Rebel's gonna be getting lots of loves here soon. I can't wait. Lots of love. Our family vehicle. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna cut the end of that, but you can show him what we did. So you can see that he just went ahead and zip tied it. We are going to hook up our T2 monitor to pull the stock tune file. This should happen pretty seamlessly. Um, one thing to note guys, whenever you're doing stuff like this, you wanna do it during normal business hours because if you do have an issue, you can contact your support. We're doing it sort of after hours. <laughs> so we're on our own. If something fails or there's an issue, we're not gonna get any support and we're basically stopped and we're not gonna do anything further today. But just something to keep in mind, I don't think we're gonna have any issues because it went flawlessly with Oh the my gosh, stop talking. Oh, uh, you think I'm jinxing you. Right here, this end of the cable, you're going to plug into your OBD2 port. Mm. And then we are going to plug our monitor in. Oh, and another thing I like to note too, before you install that security bypass cable, make sure the ignition's off. Good practice would be even disconnecting the battery. We didn't disconnect the battery. I've done this before. We didn't have to disconnect the battery. But I did make sure the ignition was shut off, so that's important. And it's step one in the directions. Yeah. All right, hop on in, head. Let's pull your stock tune file. Plug it in, plug it up. Oh. Plug it stock. Hers are pretty. I want them. So we're in the truck. I haven't touched the ignition yet. I plugged this in, and we're getting a, a note already to read the user's manual. We already, we know. So now we are going to go to tuning and it's gathering the vehicle's information. It's probably gonna tell us to turn the truck to run. All right, so now it's telling us to put the ignition to the on position. So, and we're gonna put it on to run, but we're not gonna start it. And it says press any key on the screen. Factory data was received. Please install the unlock PCM. And right now we're just gonna shut the truck down and we are gonna disconnect the battery and we're gonna install our unlock PCM. All right, so I got the negative terminal disconnected off the battery and now I'm gonna unplug the main harnesses going to the PCM. You're just gonna pull up on that and it releases, releases the plug right from the PCM, pretty simple. And these are color coded. So when you're putting your new ones on, you can see one is gray. And the other one's like a tan color. Now we're gonna remove the three eight millimeter bolts holding the PCM to the truck. You'll notice that there is a ground strap on this top one here. Just, you know, make note of it. You're gonna reinstall it. The unlock PCM is gonna go in the exact same way. The stock ball comes out. Yeah, there's just three eight millimeter bolts holding this in. And it comes out. You still wanna be careful with this, guys, because it is a computer and it's your stock PCM. Now, Diablo Sport can ship it to them and they will unlock that PCM for you and ship it back to you. I just like the option of having my stock one just in case. Just like the stock PCM came out, we're gonna install our unlocked Diablo Sport PCM. And how do we know that it's unlocked? Well, we put Diablo Sport's decal on it. Yeah, buddy. And we're gonna reinstall our ground strap back up here. Just start them all loosely with your hand. Goosey goosey. Yeah. And then you wrench them down. Dude, I've been wanting to do this for so long. You and me both. The weather's been crappy, but guess what? Today is, it's not beautiful outside, but it's like 62 degrees in the Northeast and um, that's unheard of in January. <laughs> and, but it's windy, so at least we got a garage to do it. And we're at the JP shop. This is like our home. It's all bolted back up. Like I was telling you earlier, guys, if you can see these, they're, they're color coded. We'll start with our tan one. We're just gonna put it in there, start it, and then slowly push at the same time, but not hard. And then the lever will take it in the rest of the way. And unfortunately, these there's little locking tabs that slide down to lock the red lever down. These broke off. And slide it down. Our unlocked Diablo Sport P 
PCM is now installed. Ready? Oh, you ready? You pumped? I'm so excited. And a nice thing, a little hint, a little teaser, guys. The reason why we got this, we, it, we needed to get this done today because of some future mods. We need to adjust the parameter of something for this truck. We're going to put the truck in the run position. We're not going to start the truck. We're going to go to tuning. We're going to go to tune a vehicle. And I'm going to do the Diablo tune is their 93 octane tune. I'm going to shoot for the mid grade tune. So we're going to, she's at about a half a tank. Now we're going to fill it with mid grade. It's asking about transmission tunes. Yes. So we're going to modify the TCM tuning as well. So it's pulling the original uh, factory tuning that we installed earlier. So now we're going to put it in the off position, hit continue. PCM original backup repairing. We're going to put it into run. Modified ECU has been updated with factory data. Perfect. So this process takes a little bit, guys. Uh, we'll be back to you shortly. I finished reading the original PCM backup. It's telling us to put the truck back to off. Hit continue. Very simple process, guys. Just follow the instructions on the screen. Now it's telling us to put back to run. Hit the screen. It's exporting the file from the PCM backup. It's asking if we would like to install the tune as is, or if we would like to customize the tune by modifying the adjustable parameters. So let's customize it. Why not? Let's do a little bit of customizing. Mm -hmm. Gives you the option to adjust your tire size. Um, auto start, stop, disable. I'm not gonna mess with that, but that would be good for the Jeep if uh, I can get something to stop that. It's so annoying. MDS off. Yes, I want that off. Uh, switches limiters this is a big one because if oh there you go we can adjust the speed limiter that's big so we're gonna take that bad boy up to 185 for when we dyno test this yes guys we will be taking this to the dyno for sure because well because yeah because uh, hi guardian We'll be taking this back to the dyno for sure because we want to get the, the results from the tuning. We couldn't get an accurate uh, baseline number for this truck because of the speed limiter. So we got speed limiter, throttles, fan, fuel. I'm not gonna mess with any of that, spark, idle. Nope, that's good, I'm good with that. So we may come back to adjust another parameter very soon. Very soon. So we're gonna hit install. So we got the 91 octade tune, we're gonna modify our stock tune, and we're shutting off MDS, and we adjusted the speed limiter to 185 miles per hour. Accept and install. Oh, you excited? You're installing oh, so your fresh excited. tunes. All right, so now, guys, this process is longer than what we just did. I'm not gonna, you just follow the directions on the screen. Follow everything. Your dashboard is gonna make all kinds of crazy, um, yes dings and warning lights are going to pop up uh everything's going to go kind of crazy for a while but it's doing what it's supposed to do so i took over and now my screen is telling me that my vehicle has successfully been tuned i just need to hit the continue button to return to the main menu i'm so pumped it's already on run it never told me to take it start off it. Run, so just start, start it, it. The tune is installed. We adjusted those little, uh, those two parameters and we're using the T2 monitor. We swapped out our edge, but good thing is we can auto just, the, the plugs are identical. It's made by the same company 
and we can just swap them whenever we need to. So I'm gonna run this for a while to see how things are, but we're running the 91 octane tune and uh, very happy with it. Now, when it completed, we did have a check engine light, which is no big deal. There's a thing in there for engine diagnostic, clicked on that. It was two trouble codes for communication with the TCM. We cleared those codes, started the truck back up, running fine, no issues with the transmission. I took it for a little test drive. So now I'm gonna take it out and actually open it up a little bit and see what the difference is. My station stayed the same, and I took the notice that the new screen literally color matches the Rebel. Oh, I didn't even Perfectly. think about that. Yeah. <laughs> and you can adjust these gauges. There's so many uh, PIDs that you can monitor with this. All right, we're gonna punch it. Whoa, traction control. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, a little, a little more peppy. A little punchy? A little bit more punchy. Punch it again real quick. Be careful. Speed truck central. Yeah. I may know a few. But yeah, very happy. We'll have more follow up on this and there will be a link put in this video at a later point when we actually take the truck back to do some dyno testing with it. Now that we got the speed limiter unlocked and it's up to 185 miles per hour. Should be no issue moving forward to getting an accurate horsepower and torque reading on the dyno at Maple Grove Automotive LLC. Might roll with this for a while. What do you think? You want to like try it, it out? You yeah, try it out? definitely. Okay. I'll adjust some of the pits to what we need to monitor and uh, yeah, it'll be good to go. If you guys are interested in full tuning from Diablo Sport, I will link that information in the video description. Again, this is full tuning. You can actually adjust other parameters and you can get custom tuning done as well when you're adding different mods through Diablo Sport or other tuners. This is the only way to do it for these newer trucks. You need to get an unlocked PCM. There's no other way around it, guys. And you want to do this. All right, and I enjoy doing this, and I enjoy showing all you. No, you like when you're like, if you guys are interested, they're interested. Oh yeah, they're interested. You're interested. I know you are. <laughs> Before we close this video out, guys, I just want to thank all you for watching, all the new subscribers, all the OG subscribers. I just want to thank Our all you. <laughs> thank all you guys for all your support one thing i need to ask of everyone because it seems to be a little issue with youtube's algorithms lately i don't know what's going on but our view count is down i'm hearing that you guys aren't getting notified of our upcoming videos or our videos when they go live you know every friday at 5 p.m we're that's pretty much our standard for yeah. video uploads. They're always going live at Friday, and occasionally we'll add another video a couple days before or what have you. Mm -hmm. um, but our count is down, and, and and from what I'm hearing, you guys aren't getting notified about it. So make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell. It's really important that you hit that so you guys can get notified on all the videos so you don't miss out on anything that we have going on because we got a lot of stuff going on with the – the Ruby Beast, the Wrangler JL project, mm -hmm. the Ram Rebel. We're going to have a series of videos for some major updates besides major. this one. Yep. And then as we roll into the spring, there's going to be a, a mix of all three vehicles with the Charger. So we got stuff planned for the Charger as well. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you stopped by for the first time, make sure you smash tap, do something to that subscribe button. Again, make sure you hit that notification bell, turn on all the notifications. All of them. We love you guys. We will see you on the next upload. So when you get your kit, your- It just now started doing all right. one. All right guys, so when you get your kit from Dialibus, all right, hold on one second. Even if you put your stock PCM in, back, even if you put your, even if you put your stock PCM back in your vehicle, it's still, there's still, even if, <clears throat> so there's two, Seven mil, there's two, two, blah, 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 blah. Leave, them, leave them in a cup holder for now. You could have put it in the door, baby. You say cup holder. There's a cup holder in your door. Oh, no shoot. All right, guys, here is what I'm going to be taking out. And there are locking tabs on there that I'm going, I just saw myself. Oh God, do not put that on there. What? You'll see when you edit. No, but like I'm like talking, not thinking you could see my face. Hold on, I'm taking a picture. Yo, props to you guys who do this filming in. Well, it's it's really tight in there. You guys just trust me. Just just chill for a second. Locking tabs, I have to press. Who the f 
I got one out, guys. I got one out. I wonder if you can see that. Trying to do this with one hand. The last time I had to do it with two, but then I was like, yeah, maybe I can do it with one. No. I don't even know if that makes sense. I'm not sure. Obi-Wan Kenobi? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Isn't that the story?